like three miles into this walk. I've never even really been over here. I think this is kind of close to, I think I know this road, but I've never really, well, I've definitely never walked over here, but uh, it's nice. I found this bench, nice and chill. You can see the mountains, eight o'clock. We've been out here for like an hour. I've been back for a while. I'm pretty tired now. All right, Alex is finally getting up so we can go get breakfast. Where are we getting breakfast? We're going to this place called Devil's Food. And then we're gonna figure out what to do today. I actually got all of my work done. Walk is done. Now we just gotta do other stuff. I don't know. Friday, nice little Friday. Do some Home Depot, Bed Bath & Beyond. Don't know if there'll be enough time. Oh my. Come here. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I can't go out there, son. I'm on socks, bro. Why would? You are wildin', dog. I really want to wear a different pair of shoes than the same pair I've been wearing, but they're the most comfortable ones. It's really difficult all of a sudden. Huh? It's a fucking struggle, dog. I got a room full of shoes and only one comfortable pair. I don't know what to do. I mean, they're all comfortable, but free hikers are way more comfortable. These are not gonna fucking hold up. Man. I don't know what to do. Damn, I got some DS Easy, son. I need to pop some tags, dog. I need to pop a couple of tags. Um, since someone was talking about these yesterday, Travis maybe said I was gassing the free hikers and not to forget about these. I'll wear these today. They're not gonna come close, though. Oh. Not gonna come close. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I thought we were going to breakfast, but hey, now 2.30. Let's be real. What? For a girl who's out late last night to be up and <laughs> doesn't ready. Sound, doesn't sound good. You don't want you don't want to sound like you don't want to you don't want to be up late last night. It sounds like code. Oh. These shoes are definitely already not as comfortable as these other ones, bro. These people are tripping. I can't wear these today, I don't think. If we're going to be walking anywhere, because I could normally wear them, my feet just hurt too bad. <laughs> I'm going to rough it out. <laughs> Got to rough it out. I need an on-feet pick. I'm an elite champion. I've been up for hours. That's why you need to leave for hours. I'm an elite Go champion. Function well for the first I've been hours. up for hours. Look, I'm just trying to take you to breakfast, boo. Say what? We can skip breakfast if you're too tired. No, I don't want to okay. skip breakfast. Next time I wake up before you, <laughs> you're not ever I'm again. videotape you <laughs> Never in the first again. 40 minutes you're up. Never again are you waking up before me. I'm first one up now. First chair. Every day, 5 a.m. Roll call. God, this fucking car it feels like a beach vacation. It kind of smells like suntan lotion to me. It smells like adultery in this car. You are weird. I think you left my phone inside. God. You're rushing me. Oh, uh, I'm not rushing. I'm Armenian. I'm rushing you. You told me you were ready to go. You're... I didn't. That's... Yeah. <laughs> no, you said before that you're ready. You think I'm addicted to pizza? You would classify me as addicted? Like if a professional... Were you aware that you're... Your significant other is addicted to pizza and you would say, I was aware, that's how you feel? That's really how you feel? How do you guys feel? I think I'm addicted to pizza. I don't think you're addicted. <laughs> don't. I had to think about it really hard though, because you eat a lot of pizza. I eat a lot of pizza? You do eat a lot of pizza. Hmm. Look at Omar's little head. <laughs> popped, it's like barely popped over the ledge. <laughs> It's a box from Stock Eggs. Do you want the rest of this? Oh shit. I mean, this big old box. Alright, get your shark. Go. <laughs> what? That's a little ass dumpster. How much was that? <laughs> How much was this cop? 60 bucks. Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was more than that. You were acting like they were really expensive. Well, the other one's 80 bucks. Yeah. They're ours, sweetheart. Forever. <laughs> we never have to. We never have to rent again. Our own dump. Come on. Pump walk, pump walk. Uh, are you pumped ever? Are you pumped for a pump walk? Are you pumped? Are you pumped for a pump walk? Pump walk. Hey. Omar, come get here. the brakes, fatty. Slow your roll over there, Hitchcock. Homie, I need you to listen though. You wait up. Hey. Omar, get out of street. Trying to stay, not. I was gonna try to stay up and do work. No. I just woke up from a really long nap. So basically, I don't know where the vlog left off. I was probably, we were probably just about going to a gym show and we were leaving. A gym show? Yeah. 
The gym and mineral show that you wanted to go to today? Gym. Oh, that's what I said. Like a jungle gym? We're going to go to a jungle gym show? It's a gym show. A gym show? What, you, what, you have to say gems? 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 Is that how you say it? Gems. You have to make a stupid face when you say it. Like, gems. You have to sound like a really pretentious. Gym, just like saying croissant. It's croissant. You're from North Carolina. It's croissant. It's gym. A gym and mineral show. But we ate a cornbread waffle for breakfast. And I think that that coupled with all of the walking oh, knocked your boy out for the count. So I've been asleep for a long time. So we're going to go to dinner. We're going to go to La Fiesta. Best Mexican food in town. Guaranteed to make my stomach cramp up tomorrow, but it's totally worth it. So good. Her bootleg. Where's the chocolate? I think we got some. You can't Can have you this. Mix that, I found out? The tincture bell people. Uh, you know it's strong. That's why you want me to eat it. Because you remember how goofy it used to make me. Oh, we got the Tesla back too, but it's still blanking out. It's not a good look, Elon. Not a good look. I'm trying to help the company. Elon, talking directly to you because I know you're watching. I'm trying to help you get the car fixed. <laughs> well. Me and my dad yeah, take my grandpa to church. I don't think we're going to be doing that Sunday. We're to bring church to him. Yes, I know. I just went to the grocery store. But y'all are talking about snow. I bought snacks. I didn't. I didn't buy like. I didn't buy shit in preparation for an actual like meal. Son, hit him off this morning. Whew. All right, you know what time it is because I just showed you what time it was. Omar needs to go out. You know me? Just got home from this walk, and since last night we hit up Target. Dog, we just stopped because I had to get some shit for my feet real quick. My feet are all cracked, and then we came to Target to get those things. They have chocolate toast crunch, and they have churro toast crunch. It's fucking lit. We're getting it. All sugar. I know. I know, but come on, it's chocolate toast crunch, and it's churro toast crunch. I don't really care about that shit. Half retro, half new school design. Chocolate toast crunch. They also have choco spots, which just kind of seems like this dude just maybe poop those. He's just wet. Just hit off them eight miles. I'm about to have some goddamn cereal, son. Now, I know what you're thinking. Teddy, cereal is all sugar. I know that. I don't care. And you're like, Teddy, you're doing a lot of exercise, man. You should eat healthy. Like, yeah, I guess. I think I should just eat whatever the fuck I want within reason and not be ridiculous, but also not restrict myself to like things I don't necessarily want to eat for long periods of time. So, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, I'm gonna eat some chocolate toast crunch. I've never had it before. So here we go. Cereal God, taste test. Big bowl. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I don't know what the plan is today. Ernie just texted me. He's home. He wants to come over and hit a clip. So at least he's smoking weed. Alex is a Pilates. You should be here any minute. I do have this box to open. Oh, it's so sore. This light is not participating. Oh. All right, I got this box. If you don't know, should know but if you don't know jeans a lot of people make fun of me and they're like you'll see people sometimes say damn teddy's wearing jeans because for a long time i didn't wear jeans because i didn't like i just didn't really like jeans a lot like even growing up as a kid i didn't like jeans i have always pretty much dislike jeans because jeans aren't that comfortable this is what it is went through some phases in my life where i wore japanese denim very uncomfortably and diesel and all kinds of shit that i didn't really like wearing but it was like the shit you know it was the hype so i would spend this money on jeans wear it didn't like it wouldn't be comfortable some girl would undo my pants and there'd be like a fucking imprint in my stomach from how tight my shit was you know what i'm saying but nothing good about it just trying to look good anyway wasn't comfortable 
Probably looked good, but it didn't feel great. Anyway, then blah, 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 joggers, 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 or like baggy jeans that don't really matter, or Dickies. I used to wear a lot of fucking Dickies, Ben Davis, shit like that. But anyway, fast forward to last year, Koala sent me a box. I was wearing Kith jeans at the time because I'd gotten some Kith stuff that I actually fit in and liked and it was good. But once I got these jeans, it was just like game over, especially like being like a bigger dude. These stretch, it doesn't matter how much weight I lose. Like I'm always gonna be a big dude. I have, I'm a large man. You know what I'm saying? Got big hands. You know what I'm talking about? These jeans actually stretch with me. Like I can do all kinds. Of, I actually went on. That's what I walked in this morning. With so I walked like you know they're comfortable. They move with your body. Stylish. You know. So I fuck with Koala. It's um they're not a fucking enormous brand, and you don't have all these fucking people going crazy over it. And LeBron hasn't worn it, but uh, Tubron, myself, I've worn it. I fuck with it. They fuck with me. Again, hopefully a collab coming soon. Would like to just drop a jean with them or something like that to make life just easier instead of fiddling with, you know, samples. Also, we're gonna be a contest because I'm gonna do a little giveaway. Really, technically, they're doing a the giveaway. We're gonna do, um, they're gonna give away a fit, a top, and a bottom, and a pair of shoes, like a pair of Yeezys, static 350s, non-reflective, or the 700s. So we're gonna do that giveaway. It's not announced yet, so be on, be on the motherfucking lookout, y'all. Coming soon. I would tell you right now, but the Instagram post isn't up, so, and I may forget by the time this goes up. I don't know. Might do you some good to follow the grams, huh? Ah. I was basically, I wore the same pair of jeans the whole time I was in Tokyo. And fuck, sex, huh? Yeah. Turquoise hoodie in a medium. I'm assuming this is for Alex. So for these, I wear a 38. I could wear a 36 too, but they're, again, they're stretchy. 38 is preferred, I think. 38, 36, or extra large or 2X. Combat cargo, and super comfort, super stretch. Cause it's just another black jean. I hope so. I don't know about them black jeans, son. Yeah. Ooh, ribbing. It's more black jeans. What we got here? These new bags, bagged up. Actually, this hoodie is koala too. I got koala fit on today. Now I got the green, green and red, Christmas Ted. Dude, you guys hooked it up, son. Jersey sweat, Jersey sweat. Nice. Hey, it feels like Christmas morning when you do that. Hey. Oh. The marled long sleeve. It's not a few things. Got a few things. Here. Shout out to the koala. Koala tea. I'll just call it koala, but koala tea. Giveaway coming soon. I'm gonna go take a shower and see what else happens today. Saturday. So, who knows? So, oh, today is definitely mellow. Saturday. I am running over to the head shop to just grab papers and random shit. Alex is chilling. I'm chilling. I'm just gonna like paint and draw, I think. Just hang out. I think it's just a hangout day. There's all kinds of shit going on. The car, Tesla, I'm back in the Tesla, but it has another appointment on Wednesday because it's still blanking out. It's probably blanking out even more. So that's kind of whack. As you probably know, they just dropped the price <laughs> on this car, which I don't really care. Like I spent the money and the money's already spent. So I don't care about anything like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't ever get buyer's remorse in that sense. But the fact that I bought this car and it's having issues. I haven't even really got to drive it, which isn't their fault because I was gone for five, six weeks, but still. It's been sitting, it got driven the whole time I was gone, at least not every day, but every other day, I'm sure. There's no reason for this to be happening. It's kind of whack if I have to keep taking the car in. I could go buy the car for however many grand cheaper. I haven't done the math because again, I don't really care. So the car has to go back in on Wednesday. I know I was making a lot of jokes about the Dodge. Sure, a lot of you I know have this car, the Dodge car. I, I'm just making jokes, man. I'm a comedian. I don't really hate the car. Well, I do. I don't want to be in it. It's not, it's not what I would choose to ride in, so. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna take the Tesla to the head shop. Who knows? Who knows what happens next? Also, the free hiker. Everyone knows that I've been all about the free hiker. There's a, uh, there's, you can get them on Adidas and there's a discount code. But I don't know the discount code. So I'm just gonna flash it on the screen because I don't remember it. There is that. They're fire. Best shoe, best shoe ever so far in this life. All right, let's go. <laughs> On Instagram, shout out Anwar, the homie, swear the gang. This, this is going down in Colorado, so pretty crazy. Shit's about to get trippy out here, dog. They thought weed, mm. she's gonna get crazy.
after midnight. Yeah, it's 12.30. I am eating a chocolate croissant that we got yesterday. I think that was yesterday. Um, I've been drawing like all day. I fell asleep today for a long, I've just been crashing. Like today I crashed. Crash Bandicoot, for sure. And then now I'm gonna get on Twitch for a little bit. I'm exhausted. I tweeted that uh, this drawing that I'm working on, or series of drawings, uh, to follow up the Mecha God, uh, is uh, mentally exhausting me, I think. That with the physical exhaustion is enough to put your boy at a slow pace. But I don't mind the slow pace. I feel like it makes me happier. I also don't think I'm in frame, but that's the day. See you in the morning with a special guest. It's six o'clock. It's zero degrees outside. And it's uh anyway. Go to bed. Go on. Alright, so we're gonna try and go hit a walk off. I'm gonna put on some extra layers, like these Kalama heat tights. Hey, go lay down. Go, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. <laughs> I'm taking the camera. You know what this walk looks like, and it's a cold one, and my hands are staying in my pockets. We are back. Back from the walk. Only three miles today. Yeah, it's cold, dude. Yeah, it's cold. You know, I do whatever you're doing. Go. Okay. Come back into the warm house. Makes more sense. I know. Three and a half miles, two floors of snow. Our special guest today was snow, I guess. Aaron was supposed to be here with me. He said he wanted to go with me at six, but he hasn't answered his phone yet. Really, it's like 8.30 in the morning. Um, on Sunday, I need to edit all this footage together. And really the only fucking question that I'm getting like all day, all week, every day for the last week, free hikers, and we've talked about them before. Like I, we talked about them when I got them. Since then, I've put probably close to 400 miles on this shoe. It's the only shoe I've put 400 miles on, probably in my life. It's still the best, most comfortable thing I've ever worn. I'm gonna go through this really quick because I've already given you a review and it's on the channel, but it's on the Tesla vlog. This one's not thorough enough for you. These are not Gore-Tex. The biggest thing that was going around, they're Gore-Tex. They're not. There are Gore-Tex versions. They should be labeled. This specifically, I do not have any confirmation that it's Gore-Tex. I went and stood in a puddle. My feet got soaking wet. That's the main question. Are your feet going to get soaking wet? No. Walking in the snow like today, uh, puddles, regular city shit, like, no. Your feet are not going to get wet. If you go stand in a puddle, yes. I walked through plenty of snow today. The shoe itself is wet, but my socks, feet never got wet. It never got wet on the inside. It's a little cold, so maybe it's seeped through finally, but more comfortable than an Ultra Boost. Obviously less wearable. It's more like a hiking boot, but this is like a perfect shoe for me. It's the marriage of a mid that we never really got. Like the other Ultra Boost mid kind of got here. The one that y'all hated, not the not the fucking hype one. Where the fuck is it? I don't have any of the other mids. I didn't keep any. They're, they're good, but they just didn't it just fell short. It's unreal comfortable. Whole time I was in Japan, I brought nine pairs of shoes. I went out in a couple of different pairs, but if I was going anywhere for longer than a couple of miles, these for sure, without a doubt. I've ordered at least three pairs this week. I got the other Kith pair from StockX. I, I love this shoe. Two different black pairs on Adidas that have dropped. You can use the code, I think, I don't know if it's still available today. I'm sure it is, but if not, I'm sorry. Code Spring Moon. S-P-R-I-N-G-M-O-O-N. It uh, makes it from 200 to 140. Um, but yeah, shoes mo more comfortable. Like honestly, I love all these shoes. These are some of the most comfortable shoes I'd ever worn a couple of years ago. I mean, it's just the it's the it's the final. It's like all the stupid shit they were doing with the shoes, the cosmetic shit. It seems like what they finally did was they are not. Um, stingy with the boost as they were and they finally given it to people to use in a performance capacity which is great because this shoe fucking performs I don't know if I honestly need all of this shit anymore I'm not being funny if they stop making this I have I feel the same panic I felt with ultra boost where I was like oh shit if they stop making this I'm fucked so the shoes just unreal comfortable like I have really nothing bad to say about it other than there's not enough colors out we need like some serious love given to this model. Black on black versions, 3M versions, fucking stripeless versions. You don't have to change much. Just hit us with some real colorways. Some real collabs. Please. Fucking please. They're not waterproof, but they are very water resistant. True to size. I still say true to size. A website on Adidas, I think, said that either half up or half down. 
One thing I will say is no thin, super thin. Well, I wore like smart wool, smart wool today, so that's fine. They're thin, but no uh, ankle socks or no shows. You need a sock that comes past this, or you're definitely going to get some serious rub. It's just like common sense, those skin on skin on fabric shit. But this rubber toe guard is why I say true to size. You start sizing down too much, that cannot be fucking comfortable. Sizing up, this is going to be loose because it's not really tight like another mid. Super sick. I should be getting a couple more pairs tomorrow, I think. Tread's like still there. It's only like one spot where that thing starting to wear down in the middle. Boost is chunked out. This one got super chunky in Japan, but I mean like still it held up pretty good. Put some serious work into these shoes. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's the review. That's my weekend. It's Sunday. I'm going to chill out, dog. Tired. Trying to make it through the day. See what's popping. Get up with iron. Do the damn thing. Get the drawings done. I got a lot of drawn shit. Probably I got a lot of explaining and drawing to do, but I also looked up flights for Beijing and they're mad cheap. So I'm thinking about going to Beijing for a week after New York before my birthday, maybe. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow.